ਇਹ ਧਾਰਮਿਕ ਸੈਗਮੈਂਟ ਕੋਕਟਲਮ ਸਥਿਤ ਬਾਂਕੇ ਇਨਵੈਸਟਮੈਂਟ ਲਿਮਟਿਡ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਸਪਾਂਸਰਡ ਹੈ 604-931-3331 ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰ ਫਿਰ ਆਪ ਸਭ ਦਾ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਰਿਲੀਜੀਅਸ ਸੈਗਮੈਂਟ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੇਰਾ ਸਾਥ ਦੇਣਗੇ ਪੈਸਟਰ ਮੈਥਿਊ ਕੋਸ਼ੀ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਿ ਅੱਜ ਸਾਡੇ ਮਹਿਮਾਨ ਨੇ ਕ੍ਰਿਸਮਸ ਦਾ ਸੀਜ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਆਓ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨਾਲ ਕੁਝ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰਕੇ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਲੈਨੇ ਆ ਕ੍ਰਿਸਮਸ ਦੀ ਕੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਸ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕੀ ਕੁਝ ਸਿੱਖਣ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਹੈ ਦਿਸ ਸਟਾਕ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਇਨ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਐਂਡ ਆਓ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਪੈਸਟਰ ਮੈਥਿਊ ਕੈਸ਼ੀ ਦਾ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਦ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਵੈਰੀ ਮਚ thank you so a little bit about yourself sir uh, you have been a pastor for a long period uh, how did your interest in all into it well my ministry started 43 years back mm-hmm. when i had an encounter with god a new understanding of who god is right and what he does for me okay that changed my life mm-hmm. till then i was thinking that i have to do all good works to approve by god but i realized that that is not the case mm-hmm. and god gives us grace and he approves us by what christ died on the cross right so that changed my life mm-hmm. and i accepted him into my heart as my savior mm-hmm. and since then a tremendous joy flooded my soul right and life has never been the same great yeah. so let's talk a little bit about you know how that uh, thing changed what changes did you find in yourself because once you realize god uh what kind of changes one feels in oneself and how did your perspective change in my case i was considered as a good person when i was young mm-hmm. and i did many good things but in spite of all that within my heart i knew that i was not good right what more than what you do outside what your inside is more realistic to you right So that told me that you need to have a change in your life. Mm-hmm. So I tried to do more and more uh, efforts to do good things. Mm-hmm. But in spite of all that, within me I realized that by my deeds I'm not being approved by God. Right. In my think. Mm-hmm. So I kept on striving more and more mm-hmm. to a failure. Okay. But that's when I got an opportunity to read the Bible. Mhm. and i read through a book in the bible called the book of romans okay where one of the great apostles uh, that is apostle paul is putting forth the basic christian doctrine mm-hmm. that our righteousness is not by our deeds our righteousness is by faith in what christ has done mm-hmm. when we are unable to do god says i will do it right and that understanding brought forth a tremendous repentance in my heart mm-hmm. and i confess my sins to god and i said change me right give me your righteousness that oh. flooded joy into my soul mm-hmm. no wonderful yeah. when did you move over to canada uh 29 years back okay now basically when we come from india or any other south asian country or as a matter of fact any country from the world to canada it's a different life here it's a different lifestyle it's a different whole world is different So when you land over here you know you have to pass through a lot of challenges as everyone goes through generally what happens is when we are facing some challenge we remember god or we pray to god and of course when we are at uh, the peak of success then of course we are the ones who do everything so pastor tell us a little bit about this that that mentality which is in us if you want to realize god uh, how to ch- face this kind of situation as to how to be equanimous you know when whether it is a challenge or whether it is a fortune for you Well, that's a very good question. Uh, I must say that cuts into the essence of Christmas. Mm-hmm. I want to bring two passages from the scripture sure. that will answer that. That is from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 1. Mhm. It says when the angel came to Joseph, mm-hmm. who was betrothed to Mary, who is the mother of Jesus Christ. Mhm. Mary had an encounter with the Holy Spirit. and she conceived a child and that information was passed on to joseph joseph was really perplexed he was thinking in the natural what should i do he was engaged to mary but god spoke to her mm-hmm. and said the one who is born in her is by the holy spirit right and a boy will be born and you shall call his name jesus which means is going to save his people mm-hmm. from their sins so salvation is from our sins mm-hmm. and its consequences 
Right. So when you come to realize that you are a sinful person, mm -hmm. this is a realization that comes by the Holy Spirit or comes by your attempt to abide by the law. Mm -hmm. A person who is sincere right. will come to an understanding that he's not able to do what he professes to do. Mm -hmm. That would bring a consciousness of sin in the heart of a person. Right. A person, once he has the consciousness of sin, mm -hmm. he will continue to explore the possibilities of overcoming that. Mm. And when we encounter Jesus Christ, that's the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ, is that you can be saved, not by your efforts, but by what Christ has done on the cross. Mm -hmm. God, in his infinite love, will forgive our sins and enable us to do the things that he wants us to do. Mm -hmm. That changes our life. Right. Once that happens, we call it spiritually born again. Mm -hmm. When that experience comes, that person has an inherent understanding mm -hmm. that I'm not able to do it and I need to trust in him. Right. So that comes not only when you are in failure or in problems, mm -hmm. that also comes when you are at the pinnacle of success. Right. The realization is that it is not me who did it, it is the grace of God who did it. That's right. So your perspective changes, that realization once it comes, absolutely your world changes. Exactly. The whole world changes, I must say. Right. The whole world, everything changes. Right. I today would also like to take this opportunity to understand about the Christian doctrine, what you just mentioned. Uh, Christmas season is on and of course we're going to celebrate Christmas in a big way. All over the world people celebrate Christmas. But probably the essence of Christmas is not being understood. The strife, what we are finding in today's world, probably never ever have we witnessed all that. Uh, we are probably the, I would say the most comfortable generation where we have everything with us. But despite that, we are tense, we are stressed, we are depressed. Uh, so tell us, take us on this journey of this doctrine as to how that doctrine can help us in our daily lives. Just before the d uh, birth of Christ, mm -hmm. there was an angelic announcement when Christ was just born. That people who s sat in darkness have seen a great light. Mm -hmm. We live in a dark world. The Bible says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Right. There's none righteous, not even one. Mm -hmm. So we have to acknowledge the fact that we're living in a dark world. And the light that can come to our hearts is from God. Right. And through Christ, that light comes to the world. For example, another passage that happened at the time of birth of Christ, announcement came. That was a prophetic announcement that was spoken by prophet Isaiah many years back. Mm -hmm. But that is mentioned when we talk about the conversation the angel had with Joseph. Mm -hmm. That is, you shall call his name Emmanuel. Right. Emmanuel means God with us. Mm -hmm. So these are the two words I said. Jesus, because he's going to save his people from their sins. Right. Second, Emmanuel. God with us. Right. We have a concept that God is a judge sitting with a big stick mm -hmm. to smack those who are sinful. That is the wrong picture. That is the dark picture which brings fear and all these problems in our lives. Mm -hmm. God is a loving God. Right. The problem that we see in this world can be summarized to one point. Mm -hmm. Not receiving the true love mm -hmm. in their heart. Mm -hmm. Just like water is essential for our physical life. Right. God's love is very essential for the healthy development of a human being. Mm -hmm. When that is deprived, that's where the whole problem starts. Mm -hmm. The only way to solve that problem is bring that back that love of God into your hearts. Wonderful. Uh, that's a wonderful foundation which you have laid. We'll go for a short break. We'll come back and learn more about uh, the importance of this season and how everyone can have that grace of God, what you're talking about after this short break. We'll talk. ਉਨਤਕ ਜੋ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਹੋਈ ਉਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪੈਸਟਰ ਮੈਥਿਊ ਕੋਸ਼ਨ ਨੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਜੀਵਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਰਿਵਰਤਨ ਆਇਆ ਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਇਹੀ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜੀਜ਼ਸ ਨੇ ਜੋ ਸਾਡੇ ਪਾਪਾਂ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਇਹ ਕ੍ਰਾਸ ਤੇ ਗਏ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਸਮਝਣ ਦੀ ਲੋੜ ਹੈ ਇਨਸਾਨ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਹੀ ਇਹ ਸਮਝਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਹੀ ਸਭ ਕੁਝ ਕਰ 
ਉਹੀ ਧਰਮੀ ਹੈ ਇਨਸਾਨ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਸਮਝੇ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਸਭ ਗ੍ਰੇਸ ਆਫ ਗੋਡ ਨਾਲ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਇਨਸਾਨ ਦੇ ਹੱਥ ਵਸ ਕੁਝ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਰੱਬ ਹੀ ਜੋ ਹੈ ਉਹੀ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਮਤ ਦਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਹੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋਲੋਂ ਸਭ ਕੁਝ ਚੰਗਾ ਕਰਾਉਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਅੱਜ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਭਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੋ ਸਮੱਸਿਆਵਾਂ ਬਣੀਆਂ ਪਈਆਂ ਨੇ ਉਸ ਦਾ ਮੁੱਖ ਕਾਰਨ ਇਹੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਈਗੋ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਟੱਕ ਹਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਮਝਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਹੀ ਸਭ ਕੁਝ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ 43 ਸਾਲ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਇਸ ਚਰਚ ਨਾਲ ਜੁੜਿਆ ਤੇ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਮੇਰੇ ਜੀਵਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹੀ ਚੇਂਜ ਆਇਆ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਖੁਸ਼ਹਾਲ ਹਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਖੁਸ਼ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਇਹ ਸਮਝ ਸਕ ਰਿਹਾ ਕਿ ਅਸਲ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੋ ਜੀਜ਼ਸ ਨੇ ਕੀਤਾ ਸਾਡੇ ਪਾਪਾਂ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਜੋ ਉਹ ਚੜੇ ਸਵਰ ਕ੍ਰਾਸ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਉਹ ਜਦੋਂ ਸਮਝ ਆ ਜਾਏਗੀ ਔਰ ਰਿਡੈਮਸ਼ਨ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਸਮਝ ਆ ਜਾਏਗੀ ਤਾਂ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਜੀਵਨ ਵਿੱਚ ਪਰਿਵਰਤਨ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਇਸ ਥੋੜੀ ਜਿਹੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਜੈਕਟ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਵਾਪਸ ਆ ਕੇ ਹੋਰ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਲੈਣੇ ਆ ਕ੍ਰਿਸਮਸ ਦੇ ਇਸ ਪਵਿੱਤਰ ਦਿਹਾੜੇ ਦੀ ਕੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਸ ਹੈ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਹੇਅਰ ਮੋਡਰਸ ਮੈਂ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਸੱਦਾ ਦਿੰਨਾ ਵੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਆਣ ਕੇ ਸਾਡਾ ਨਵਾਂ ਸ਼ੋਰੂਮ ਦੇਖੋ ਸਾਡੇ ਸ਼ੋਰੂਮ ਅਰਗਾ ਸ਼ੋਰੂਮ ਇੱਥੇ ਇੰਡਸਟਰੀ ਕੋ ਕਿਸੇ ਕੋ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂ ਗਾ ਇਹ ਇੰਨਾ ਵਧੀਆ ਸ਼ੋਰੂਮ ਆ ਕੇ ਦੇਖਣ ਵਾਲਾ ਆ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਣ ਕੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੇ ਕੋਈ ਫਾਈਨੈਂਸ ਦੀ ਸਲਾਹ ਲੈਣੀ ਆ ਜਾਂ ਫਾਈਨੈਂਸ ਕਰਨਾ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਆਓ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਵਾਅਦਾ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਪੇਮੈਂਟ ਘੱਟ ਬਣਾ ਕੇ ਵਧੀਆ ਰੇਟ ਲੈ ਕੇ 1 ਘੰਟੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪ੍ਰੂਫ ਕਰਕੇ ਗੱਡੀ ਦੇ ਕੇ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਘਰ ਭੇਜਾਂਗੇ ਇਹ ਧਾਰਮਿਕ ਸੈਗਮੈਂਟ ਕੋਕਟਲਮ ਸਥਿਤ ਬਾਂਕੇ ਇਨਵੈਸਟਮੈਂਟ ਲਿਮਟਿਡ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਸਪਾਂਸਰਡ ਹੈ 604-931-3331 ਵਾਂਸ ਅਗੇਨ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਬੈਕ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਸੈਗਮੈਂਟ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੇਰਾ ਸਾਥ ਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਪਾਸਟਰ ਮੈਥਿਊ ਕੋਸ਼ੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਮਹਿਮਾਨ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਕ੍ਰਿਸਮਸ ਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਕ੍ਰਿਸਚੀਅਨਿਟੀ ਦਾ ਕੀ ਡਾਕਟ੍ਰਿਨ ਹੈ ਆਉ ਕੁਝ ਹੋਰ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਲੈ ਲੈਂਦੇ so before the break as you were mentioning you know like uh, your life changes your perspective changes the bible is a manual which teaches us to become good human beings and we can only have that grace of god if we first understand that we are not the ones who are uh, doing everything it is by the grace of god we can uh, change our lives uh, christmas season is on now lots of parties lots of celebrations but basically the essence of christmas when we talk about that uh, can you please elaborate on that and tell us that what should be kept in mind while celebrating christmas true christmas celebration is not the parties not the things that we see as christmas mm-hmm. The real joy comes from our heart. Right. And that joy comes from God. Mm. Christ coming into this world, first of all as I said, there is forgiveness of sins right because of what he did on the cross. Mm-hmm. That understanding that my sins are forgiven gives us the greatest freedom, fear is gone. That's where the tremendous joy fills your soul. All right. Second thing, God with us. God is not my judge my enemy but God is on my side. Mhm. He calls me his son or daughter. Right. Bible says by the spirit that was in Christ that is poured in our hearts by which we can call God our father. Mhm. So that brings a tremendous time of fellowship with God. Right. That's why you know even in the worldly sense in the christmas time all the families come together mm-hmm. there's a tremendous celebration true christmas is a celebration in god's family right. where those who are lost those who are far away all come together mm-hmm. and rejoice in god's presence right experiencing the love and the warmth of god mm-hmm. that is true christmas right and what we see as christmas portrayed outside mm-hmm. i don't think it's the true christmas right So Christmas is Christ born in us. Mhm. One of the greatest understanding of the Christian faith is God doesn't dwell in buildings. Mhm. Know you know that you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. All right. And God wants to dwell in our hearts. And you have to so, make yourself pure for that. And when we cannot make ourselves pure. Right. We acknowledge that we cannot. Right. And ask God, ask God to do it for us. All right. So when Christ when we confess our sins mm-hmm. and ask God to come into our hearts right the Bible says God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son mm-hmm. that whoso believeth in him shall not perish mm-hmm. but have everlasting life mm-hmm. God comes to your hearts You're right and God dwells there mm-hmm. or the mystery Christ in us right So how are you trying to spread this message pastor in
so how is your church uh, trying to spread this message? What kind of activities do you do? What all happens? Uh, our church uh, has two components. Mm -hmm. One is we gather together to worship and praise God. It's right. a very significant part in Christian church. Right. But equally important is taking this love of God to the people around us mm -hmm. in the community. So right. church within the walls and outside, outside the walls. Of, right. Christmas is a tremendous opportunity to take this joy mm -hmm. outside. Right. Not only Christmas, any time. Mm -hmm. But during Christmas time, people are more open. Right. So it is a good time mm -hmm. to go and spread this. What we do for the Christmas time, we invite those who are normally not in the church, our friends, right. and our people, mm -hmm. and they will come and participate with us <coughs> in a celebration of food mm -hmm. and fellowship and the gospel message being preached to them. Right. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. But overall, uh, the church uh, celebrations are, uh, or the gospel uh, which is being uh, given, uh, basically is it on Sundays only, every Sunday, and apart from inside the church, what kind of other activities happen outside of the church and the name of a church also? Our church is called Kerala Christian Fellowship. Right. Which is affiliated with the Pentecostal Assemblies of Canada. Mm -hmm. We have two campuses. Right. One in Richmond and one in Surrey. Mm -hmm. We have Saturday evening service in Richmond at okay. 7.30 and Sunday, at 1 p.m. in Surrey. Right. But apart from that, every Sunday morning, we do a church in the prison. Okay. Uh, Surrey Free Trial Center. Right. We do about eight services there in the morning because each section has to be given a service separately. Mm -hmm. And then we have Monday night Bible studies in Abbotsford. Right. And then we have Tuesday Bible studies in Surrey. Mm -hmm. Wednesday Bible studies also in Surrey. And then also we have a Thursday Bible study in Richmond. Okay. And Saturday, uh, we have morning outreach program. Right. Many times. Mm -hmm. So pretty much the whole week is uh, busy and right. engaged in reaching people. Okay. And also now, especially because uh, Christmas celebrations are to be done, uh, which date are yeah. you celebrating now? And uh, can anybody come to the church and be a part of this? Well, that is exactly what we need. Mm -hmm. uh, we are more than happy to open our arms for anyone. Right. Not only at Christmas, right. at any time. Right. And this time Christmas, we are meeting in Richmond mm -hmm. on the 24th okay. of uh, December. December. We meet at 2 o'clock uh, because Sunday being the Christmas day, right. we don't want to uh, stop the service on Sunday. We want to invite everybody to come and join. Mm -hmm. We have a dinner and a celebration on 24th at 2 right. o'clock. Okay. All are welcome to come and join. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, Pastor, let's talk a little bit about uh, the general talk, what we hear in all the religions, you know, that uh, we are finding our youngsters are not aligning with our thoughts or the philosophy or uh, the doctrine what we have. What do you feel? What needs to be done? How to align the youngsters? Because ultimately, if we are not spiritual inside, all the material success, uh, we do enjoy that for some time. But ultimately, the stress and distress, what we are finding in the world, is the is evident in front of us. So what needs to be done in that perspective? See, the traditional ritualistic Christian message, mm -hmm. which is not very appealing to the young people. Right. Because Christianity has to touch the soul of a person. Mm -hmm. And that happens through the power of the Holy Spirit. Right. So unless you do it as a demonstration of the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. it doesn't appeal to a human soul whether it is older people or younger people. Right. Especially younger people, they're looking for experiences. They're mm -hmm. looking for some kind of a touch. And the thing that they're really searching for is the touch from God. Mm -hmm. But when they're not getting that, it is replaced by many other things. It right. destroys their life. Mm -hmm. So I would say we would like to reach at their level mm -hmm. and truly touch them by the power of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. For example, in the Bible, Apostle Paul says, when I came to you, I did not come with possible words of wisdom. Right. But I came with the demonstration of the power of the Holy Spirit so that your faith will not be dependent upon the knowledge of man, mm. but upon the power of God. Mm. When that power is demonstrated, young people will come right. without anything. Mm -hmm. But that's what we are lacking. Right. We are trying to do church in our knowledge. Mm. It will go to a certain extent, but mm -hmm. it won't be sufficient. So you have to come out of that knowledge and go beyond that. Beyond that. Mm -hmm. That is the main problem because we know how to run church now. Right. 
that won't be life-giving. Mm -hmm. We need to move in the dynamics of the Holy Spirit. Right. So the believers and the ministers have to be in the fullness of the Spirit mm. that comes from God. But why now? What happens to uh, organized churches? We have a feeling that, yeah, what? We are well trained. Mm. We know how to do it. We can do it. Right. But I must say, I always acknowledge I can't do it. Mm -hmm. God has to do it. Right. The dependence on the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. that touches the hearts of the people. Right. That's my, my take. Mm -hmm. You have a vast experience now of uh, as a pastor also and being a practicing uh, practicing uh, Christian also. Towards the end, uh, what would be your message on this uh, holy occasion of Christmas? What would you uh, like to say? Well, my message for Christmas is God loves the world. God loves you. And he would like to be born in your heart. For which you don't need to do anything special. But acknowledge that you need that. And open your heart and say, Jesus, come into my heart. Mm -hmm. Bible says, I knock at your door. If you open up your heart, I will come in and I'll sup with you. In order to have a real Christmas this time, I would say, open your heart and say, Jesus, come into my heart. Pastor, uh, it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much and Merry Christmas. Thank you very much, Mr. Harpreet. God bless you. Thank you. जो आज जैसी गलबात की थी उस दिन पैस्टर मैथ्यू कोशी ने जो गलबात कही है उस दिन मुख्य तौर देते थे यही असेंस है क्रिसमस के बच्चे फेलोशिप जो ऐसी करनी है कि ऐसी अपने आप दा हार्ट डेस नू खोलिए ऐसी अपनी मातनू ते आग के ये विश्वास रखिए क्योंकि विश्वास फाउंडेशन है कि ये साड़ी प्रोग्रेस दी आज समस्या ये बनी पड़ी है कि ऐसी समझने के साड़ी मात चढ़ी है वो ज़्यादा वड्डी है कि रब नानो सो रब नाल जेकर ऐसी अलाइन करना है अपने आप नू तो अपनी मातनू ते आग के ओपन करिए अपने हार्ट नू ते जीसस नू इन्होंने कहा कि ऐसी लाओ करिए ते ये सारी हम समस्या में साड़ियाँ कोई भी तुसी इस प्रोग्राम में फीडबैक देना चाहो तो 604-603-5755 मेरे नाल संपर्क कर सकते हो या फिर ईमेल जरिए हरप्रीत सिंह शो एट जीमेल डॉट कॉम इस सारे एपिसोड्स तुसी यूट्यूब डॉट कॉम स्लैश हरप्रीत सिंह शो तो जाके भी देख सकते हो प्रोग्राम दी थे ही समाप्ति है फिर मुलाकात करेंगे तब तक गुड बाय